Yes, I did not sleep, but I ate and I took breaks, maybe. And every 30 minutes, I would take five to 10 minute breaks. It depends on my condition, but no sleep. Come jump in. <laughs> Ellen, put your finger in. Ellen, put your finger in. <laughs> Happiness is a byproduct of the meaningful things we do in life. That exercise is to strengthen my will and courage. You need that in life, you know, you have to exercise that muscle and also I kept my word to finish what I started. I exercise but I'm not trained to do long distance walks or uh, marathons, I've never done those. So I just really prepared mentally because at one point your body will shut down. Yeah, after some point, your body shuts down. In my case, my right leg was shut. I was in a lot of pain, but I was committed. I wanted to finish it. So when your body shuts down, the mind takes over. So basically, it was mind over matter. And I had to deal with a lot of emotions. I was frustrated, I was angry. I was questioning myself, but also at some point I was feeling happy and fulfilled and content. But because it's a long walk, so all these things come and go, all these emotions pass and come back. It was, it is, it was a vicious cycle. So yeah, I just had to make sure and had to be aware of my emotions and and I made sure to, and prepared myself to channel them right and productively, meaningfully, when I'm faced with all these. point your body shuts down in my case my right leg was shut i was in a lot of pain but i was committed i wanted to finish it so shuts down in my case my right leg was shut i was in a lot of pain but i was committed i wanted to finish it